Hello, I'm Kyle, and I'm working on a level in Fallout 4, which is a loose, uh, ba loosely based on Lizzie Borden. Just small puzzle, mystery, murder dungeon. Uh, so yeah, we're three weeks in now, and um, I got a lot done this week. I played some catch-up, some things I finished did not finish from last milestone, like adding doors and the first staging pass, um, finalized room pathing and playtesting, and the only thing I didn't get to this week was additional assets. So... Um, Yep, we did a lot. Let's just jump right in to show off how the house looks now. Um, yep, here in Concord, I added this little uh, signpost, which is sort of a hint that, like, hey, there's something this way, and caution if you sort of take your moment to, to digest the sign, um, in addition to a little reward there. But that shows, like, hey, come check this out. So this whole house is everything I've built. So this week we finished the second floor and all of the walls and doors and the roofs. Uh, as well as, yeah, adding doors. Um, I don't know if I showed this off last week, but I added an axe, uh, Lizzie's axe, just a little nod to the murder happening. And yeah, we figured out door mechanics, so we've got the whole house set up. One bug I'm running into is my objects are not physics settling until the player touches them. But basically, yeah, I'm um, working on, you know, setting the murder scene here. I'm not sure which side of the house I'm going to put it on yet. What's better for, you know, staging? I kind of like maybe this one. But um, the placement of this one is great, too. Um, yeah, so that's the first murder scene, as you can see. I'm just starting to sort of set the stage of the, uh, the house. Uh, yeah, let's head upstairs this way, because most of the work I did this week was on the second floor. First thing I did was fix a bug that I was having that caused a lot of my models to not have collision. Now they all do, so we're good with working with the whole toolkit now, so that's fun. Uh, but yeah, you come up here, and, um, first thing is this door is barred. You can't go that way. Um, I'm going to dress up this room later, but yeah, I have to go this way. And this opens to the second bedroom, uh, which is the second murder scene. Again, this body isn't settling until the player touches it, and then that's what it should look like. I don't know how to get them to settle on loading the game. Um, but yeah, we pretty much hand place all of these walls uh, myself, and um, the roofs and ceilings and everything. Uh, it all came out pretty good, honestly. So the player will make their way back here. This is why the door is barred. Uh, there's a bookshelf here, starting with some basic set dressing. Again, these books don't exactly settle until here. It's a bug I'm working on. But finish the floor back here with this stairwell. And then the end of the dungeon will kind of come here, which is the parents' bedroom, uh, where the player will find a key to the shed out back. Um, so yeah, um, figured out how to add the locked doors. So the next goal is to add a key for the door that you have to find. Uh, this one's locked. This is the back entrance, uh, which if the player finds, you know, a lockpick and comes back here, they'll sort of come to the end of the dungeon a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, still exploring. Yeah, that's pretty much it this week. Um, fixed a lot of bugs, set up the whole second story, and now we're starting with set staging. So the next goals are to do a few more passes on set staging um, and add a key that will be found in this room to a locked shed that's going to be right there out back. Um, and then, yeah, adding, like, uh, some notes to guide the player along on the path. And then just, yeah, playtesting, finishing out everything. So that's it. Thanks.